Right, morning all. It's Monday. It's Monday. Uh, sorry, didn't get a week in life off last week. Um, like I said, I buggered uh, all my videos. So, anyway, so a bit of an event for a week so far. Um, my, 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 the middle child, my oldest boy, he's off to a uh, free day retreat with the school. Fantastic for him. Um, he's really looking forward to that. Just dropped off not long ago. Youngest child decided to somehow break his uh, Nintendo Switch, so I've got to figure out how to fix that or get it repaired, because they love that fucking thing. Uh, my daughter now only communicates with me in clicks and grunts and whistles. It's like talking to the goddamn Predator. Um, because she's just left high school, she's a teenager, and I'm a sad old man in her eyes. But that's life. But it's Monday morning, it's coming up to 10 o'clock. There's only been a few jobs I've pinged this morning, I haven't got any work in. Um, but that's sort of the uh, downfall of living in Norfolk, I suppose. Um, not a lot of work. Norfolk's very hit and miss. Always has been, always will be. Some days are like today where just nothing pings. All the jobs that ping this morning, small van jobs, I put in big, long wheelbase prices because I, I don't want to do it for less. I want to make the money, and I'm waiting to see what pops up. But I have not made any money yet. But bloody bugs in my van. They're all over the shop. They're all out. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the downside. Uh, the upside is when you get a load of work, like um, hits, which happens some days. Some days you get like four or five long wheelbase jobs, ping at the same time. It's like, right, well, I can put silly price on because I know there's only three long wheelbase drivers in the whole of goddamn Norfolk. <laughs> so it works that way. Also, um, this, is, this is the view from the front of my house, so... <sighs> can't really fucking complain, can I? I live in the middle of the countryside, in a lovely little village. Uh, with lovely people, um, just in case you don't get work. I could, you see, I could have won those jobs, just gone a lot cheaper, but I didn't want to. So the plan for the day, just get my van sorted. I've got a delivery of equipment for my run coming today, hopefully, new trainers, which I've got to wear in. And let's see if we can get some work. Um, this week, between Monday and Thursday, I'm, I'm just gonna try and work my ass off. Uh, if I do get work, because I'm not getting any from the fucking moment, I am. Um, but Friday I'm not working because the next day is my run and I, I, I need a day to get sorted and rest and I don't want to be driving home at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night and then having to be up at silly o'clock in the morning to get to Equal to start a fucking 24 hour event. So that is the plan. But um, um, yeah, we'll show you, I'll show you what's going on, what, what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm going to do this more now as a sort of a proper week in the life rather than just the courier stuff. I'll show you a bit more of what I do in my spare time, stuff like that, but we'll see what happens. So at the moment, I'm just uh, cleaning out the van. I'll see if I can show you. Yeah, I've got all this crap I need to put away. Bags and my uh, office bag. Just sorting it all out. So, oh, the light's gone. There we go. So that when um, it is time to rock, I can just jump in the van and fuck off. So that's the plan. So, uh, yeah. See how we get on. Right, so it's uh, midday, um, and as you can tell, I'm in my back garden, uh, enjoying some sunshine. I've just mowed the well, I'm just finishing mowing the lawn. Um, been no work today, nothing has popped up, but I got a job booked in for tomorrow morning, hour low stuff, going to uh, Shipley, that area. I've done it before for them, two or three times I've done this job, um, so I know where I'm going. Seven o'clock pickup, which is great because then I can get to Shipley for sort of say about 10 o'clock, half 10, I make some good money tomorrow. But today, no work, got a job booking tomorrow morning. I've got loads of shit I need to do, um, get this garden sorted. Um, I've got to sort out my barbecue, I've got a bit of paperwork to do, I've got a few emails I've got to throw out, um, and some other bits, but I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna stress it. It used to stress me out before I didn't get work, but now I just don't, I know what I'm doing, and I roll with the punches. Right guys, um, I'm actually just on a training walk. It's been more, what's happened to the day? It's disappeared today. Um, you know, it's like you sit down about 12 o'clock for a quick coffee, next thing you know, it's half two. <laughs> so um, I've still got loads to do today because I want to try and get as much done as possible. Like I said, I've got that job booked in for tomorrow morning. Um, got to be up about six, get it to about an hour, pick up. It's not very far mileage, but it's Norfolk, so it takes forever to get anywhere. But I'm just on a quick, Obviously, I'm still training for my event. Out on this path, I'm seeing how far I can travel in an hour walking at good pace, not at the moment because I'm doing this, but um, on sort of muddy, grassy 
fields because uh, some of this is going to be how the event's going to be. So I just want to see what sort of mileage I can do. Um, and also just get used to it because one of the things I'm worried about is rolling my ankle. That's If anything's going to take me out of the event, that's probably going to be it. So I'm just, as you can see, middle of these fields. It's a lovely walk around here. This is actually a cow field. There's usually loads of cows in here. Um, and they are they don't give a shit those cows like, I'm used to wildlife um, you know cows growing up around farms my whole life but those cows they'll just come up to you and be like what the fuck you got <laughs> you know they are very nosy and they are huge absolute huge bastards so I'm just um, yeah getting some exercise in getting a walk I said see what I can do in an hour I shouldn't really be talking for much longer else I'm gonna lose all my time but um, it's an absolutely beautiful day as well it's baking hot this is the sort of conditions it's gonna be on the day so I'm trying to come up with a plan of attack for my for the walk on Saturday. Um, but I'll figure that out later. But I thought I'd just show you. Look, look how lovely it is around here. Look at that. I live uh, literally, according to the clock, 10 minute walk that way. Lovely jubbly. Right, I best crack on. Right, just got back from my uh, mile trek. Uh, hot weather trek, as it were. Just see how I would hold up in the heat and everything. Oh, it's baking. I'm sweating and I'm definitely going to have to moisturise or something else. I'm going to chafe like a motherfucker. Ooh. But I did uh, about three points, between 3.7 and 3.8 miles in an hour. Um, first mile and a half to two miles was all on that grass. No real path. So it, it makes it a lot harder to walk on that. And then the last half of it was on road pretty much. So my pace obviously picked up. Did a little bit of jogging in the middle of it. Just see how I hold out for an hour, see, see how an hour feels just stomping. Um, but I reckon I can get to, I reckon I can do four miles an hour if I, if I have a, run a little bit more, um, especially at the very beginning. I wanna, cause it starts at half seven, I wanna sort of get the first like um, five hours. Uh, up until sort of 11 o'clock, I wanna be running as much as possible because the, then it starts getting hot. But yeah, so that was my little trek. Um, feel good, feel good after that. It's uh, two o'clock now, and um, I'm gonna pick up my little one in, uh, in about 45 minutes. But I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day, get some more jobs done. I've gotta, I've gotta get my barbecue out and give that a clean, because um, we're gonna have a barbecue at some point this week. Maybe Sunday, when I'm feeling a bit better. Uh, but I want to get it all sorted and I've sent all my emails, done all my paperwork I had to do, got the job sorted for tomorrow. It's a bit of a pain in the ass today that I'm not making any money, but at the same time, I'm still getting shit done. Um, occasionally you've got to have a day when you just sit on your ass and do fuck all, but not today, not today. I've been busy and uh, I feel good, I feel good. It's great when the weather's like this. It's hot, but it's not baking, you know. It is when you're in the sunshine. I tell you what, you walk from the sunshine into the shade, you feel the difference, but it's not, you know, as long as you're inside, in the cool, and it's not too bad. I'm after great rum out. Should we get some rum out? Yeah. No, I've got to be up at six. Maybe just one. Maybe just one. We'll see. Morning all. It's uh, Tuesday now. Lovely. Um, I've just picked up from Lowestoff. It's now 20 past seven. I'm dropping pens, excuse me. Um, and I'm off to Shipley. Um, Chipley's further away than I thought. It's about four and a half hours from here, so I'm probably going to be getting there about 12 o'clock. Maybe a little bit after, because of the toilet break and I need to get some fuel, because I've got about 100 miles left in the clock. But yeah, it's, uh, it's because I'm, I, I kept thinking I'm obviously going there from Norfolk, but I'm going from Lowestoft, and Lowestoft's a bit weird because you can't just leave Lowestoft in the direction you want to go. You've got to go up to Yarm before you've got to go south because it's next to the broads, and you can't go through the broads. You've got to, the only road that I think bit busy road that goes through the broads is the Acle Strait. So adds a little bit to your journey. One of them. But I picked up um like I said hopefully be there at twelve. It's baking again today, not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful. So um I'm gonna try um, I think today's gonna be a good day. Shipley's not a bad area. You you know you've got a lot of cities around there. You can make some good money so I'm looking forward to today. Um, so it should be fun, but I realised this morning actually I've got a useless talent. I've had this for a while, um, but my body clock is insane. It happens all the time. I'll have an alarm, an alarm. I'll set it whenever I set it. I always wake up like two minutes before the alarm. I know a lot of people say, "Yeah, we all do that," but literally this morning, 
you know when you sort of wake up and your brain goes, you should be awake? And I was like, shit, I think I've missed my alarm. Jumped out of bed, ran to my, my phone, because I had my phone at the end of the bed on charge, looked at it, and I had the alarm set for quarter to six, and it was 5.44. And this happens all the time. It's a useless talent. It's not going to make me any money. It's never going to be used in an industry, you know, because we have clocks. But I seem to have it. Same I, When I used to work on building sites, people used to say to me, oh, what time is it? And I, I, I just knew the time. Fucking weird. Well, I think we all have a useless talent. Party trick, as it were. Everyone's got something that is like, oh, well, that's really cool. You can do that. No one else can do it, but it's fucking useless. <laughs> well, that's mine. I can tell what time it is within about two minutes without needing a clock or anything. And for some reason, I can wake up two minutes before my alarm. If anyone can figure out a way how I can monetize that, let me know, because that would be lovely. But anyway, yeah, so I'm loaded. Um, a little bit heavy. Not not overweight heavy. I'm about 800 kilograms, maybe. I think he said it's just shy of 900. I don't like going heavier than that, to be honest, uh, because you start putting heavy weights on constantly onto your van. It has effects on your springs. Obviously, you drink more fuel. So that's sort of my limit. I think, um, if I'm correct, I'm, I, I could go to about 1,200 and be legal, um, as long as I haven't had a big dinner, you know, but that's roughly where I'm at, about 1,200, so, um, yeah, uh, gonna crack on now, and hopefully, be a very good day. Right guys, so it's, um, it's one o'clock now, it took me a lot longer to get this job done than I thought, um, I'm in Bradford, just came out of ship, we went up to Bradford, it's not very far, because there's a Tesco's, uh, there, three hour parking, get some grub, chill out bit on work so I've been bit on work ever since um, but yeah it's absolutely baking today but actually you might be able to see behind me there we go that is Bradford City Football Club um, apparently it's called the Utilita Energy Stadium or something like that I thought it was called Valley Parade but football money in it so um, just want to have a little walk stretch my legs and uh, the stadium's just down the road so I thought I'd walk up here and have a look at it um, it's also known, uh, I think, it's got a hint of St. James's Park about it. Because it's got the big side bit, the big end uh, stand, and it's got these bits poking out like this. Um, which reminds me a bit of St. James's Park. Obviously St. James's Park, a lot fucking bigger. But um, yeah, I'm just walking from Bradford, bidding on work. Just gonna see if I can get someone home. But to be honest, wherever I end up tonight, I don't care. I'm just trying to make money. I've made my money for the day already, so now, it's get a job and make as much profit as possible. Make up for yesterday, hopefully. See what happens. But yeah, so I'm gonna have a little walk around the stadium. Oh, I'll start walk up here. And, um, oh, the sun's in my eyes there. And uh, we'll see how much money we can make today. Right, to y'all. Oh, I am sweating. Hair's a mess. I'm dripping at the moment, absolutely dripping. So, um, where was I? I was at the football stadium. Bradford. Is it Bradford? Bradford, wherever that it was. Um, yeah, so I've, I've been quite lucky today actually because I was job pinged up about 20 minute drive away. So I think it was about nine miles away from where I actually was. Um, going from little village, get bag something or other, going to Norwich, uh, Norwich City, that, and it wasn't a COVID test. Might as well have been, it was tiny. Um, and I saw it, I thought, well, I wouldn't mind being home tonight. And it's a good old chunk of, you know, I, I did um, just over 70p a mile I put on it. Because it was a small van job. And I've been bidding on a load of other stuff and I just wasn't winning anything. And I had that, that situation. Driving into the area, job's pinging every five seconds. Ping, 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 you know how it goes. As soon as I've unloaded, I've got out, I've parked up, I'm ready to go again, like three jobs were left. And then they just weren't pinging. I had that and I thought, well, I'm, I'm gonna put 70p a mile, see if it gets me home. You know, puts me on very good money for the day, you know, over 300 pound for the day. I tell you, and I've, what, spent, I think, what, I think I put 60 quid in diesel in. So, you know, I'm, I'm in good profit. So I put the bid in, it was to be picked up at three, and this was about half one-ish. And then 
didn't see nothing. It went. There were some shops. I thought I'm going to go and pip, have a look in the shops. I got myself a drink. I was just chilling out, walking around, stretching my legs. And it was one of those where they didn't phone me. I didn't even realise I'd won the job. Um, I looked at my phone because it pinged, and I thought it must be another job. There was another job, but also I saw confirmation. You, they should really ring. Um, that's sort of what everyone expects. If you don't get the phone call, you can sort. It did say accept, accept or decline. So it, some chippers are a bit cheapy, uh, cheeky like that. They'll they'll send you that and want you to make rather than just for picking up the phone. But I thought brilliant, so I got it. Um, got here for it was quarter to seven, back in Norwich. I'm gonna go home. Uh, not a bad day's work. Problem I've got now is that. There were a few jobs coming out of Norwich in the morning. I didn't win any because I, I, I didn't realise until it was, there was one I was bidding on. And as I've sort of gone on, I've gone and looked at the mileage, figured out the price, went to go on it, already sold. So um, plan now is to get home, have a shower, because I'm sweating, and then go for a run and then have another shower. Because <laughs> if I run like this, this when I'm, I'm just going to chafe like a motherfucker. So, uh, yeah, go for a run, chill out. I haven't got anything booked in for the morning, so there's no need for an early start, but I'll set my alarm for six, get up, get a morning run if there's no work. That's the plan at the moment, get some exercise in first thing in the morning, get the boy to school, and then, um, yeah, just see what work pops up. Uh, the next two days, I just want to work hard or do something. If I'm not on the road, doing something, you know, worthwhile. And then Friday, it's just get ready for that run. So that's the plan. I'm going to head home now. But it's, it's baking today. 22 degrees. I think it's going to be like this for the next couple of weeks as well. Good thing I've got the fans out of the loft the other night. <laughs> right. Let's get on. It's Wednesday, people. It is baking again. I've got so much water. Oh, it's a scorcher. Probably next two weeks. Absolutely baking. Cannot complain, though. We always complain about the weather. When it's like this, we complain it's too hot. When it's cold, we complain it's too cold. When it's windy, we just we just like fucking complaining, don't we? But um, yeah, so Wednesday, I had a meeting in uh, North Walsham this morning uh, with someone. Uh, North Walsham sort of in between Norwich and Cromer in that area. Lovely little market village. Um, so I had that meeting this morning. I've got a job booked in for this afternoon. It's it's quite a good one actually because it's wait, it it might not be a good one. Let me explain. It's pick up between four and six o'clock this afternoon from Nor Norwich. It's got to be in Sheffield sometime tomorrow. So, I have a choice because they said I can co load. He said straight off the bat, oh, if you want to co load, because we, we don't care what time you get the stuff here on Thursday. So, bear in mind, I don't want to work Friday because I've got that run. So, I've got to be home Thursday. Do I pick it up at four o'clock, drive to Sheffield, sleep in the van for the night, but next to um, their uh, old cash machines? No money in them, unfortunately. Bastards. Sleep next to them for the night or get a hotel or whatever. And then drop them off first thing Thursday morning. And then find some more work, get me home or whatever. Do I pick them up, come home, have a nice meal, sleep in my own bed, wake up at sort of five... Well, it's about a three-hour drive. Just over, so Let's say six o'clock. And then get to Sheffield for about nine, half nine, ten o'clock in the morning. Drop them off to see if I can get a job home. Or... Do I wait until the jobs start rolling in tomorrow and then see if I can get a co-load? I'm getting paid over a pound a mile for the job, so it's not like, oh, it's back load miles or anything like that. What would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Would you leave the night before, leave really early in the morning, or wait and see if you can get a co-load job? They all have their advantages and disadvantages, but we'll see. So that's the plan. Pick up before um, it's, what, just gone half 11 now. I might try and get, grab a job, a small job, Norwich to Norwich sort of thing, just a little, or I could go home and get some stuff sorted and chill out for the rest of the day until I've got to go. I'll probably have to leave about three o'clock to go and get the, do this um, job. But I was going to say, if you are ever in North Walsham, on the high street, on the market street on North Walsham, if you're going up, it's a one-way system. On the left-hand side, there's a sandwich place. And after 11 o'clock, they do hog roast baguettes. Now, I shouldn't be eating these, so I've got one for the wife and the, the door. These things are quite possibly the greatest sandwich ever made. It's hog roast with apple sauce. It's all the reason why you can't buy them before 11 o'clock because they're cooking the meat in the morning. Oh, absolutely stunning. The best thing about North Walsham, 
is that sandwich place. So if you ever get a chance, if you're doing a COVID test in the middle of the day and you think, I fancy a bit of lunch, nip to North Walsham, get yourself one of those sandwiches. Absolutely stunning. There's my top tip for the day. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go home now. Get some stuff sort sorted. Drop the missus off her sandwich. And then see what I'm going to do. There's not much work around, to be honest. The likelihood of me getting a job before now and four. This is Norwich to Norwich. It's pretty specific. Specific. It's doubtful. But we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Let's crack on, shall we? So, it's uh, Thursday morning. Um, I'm shattered. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm very tired. I don't know why. Usually I'm quite good at getting up in the morning, but I'm tired today. Uh, I've just made coffee and I'm going to start making my way to Sheffield. Um, I didn't get any other work yesterday, I just went and picked up that job. Um, cash machines going to Sheffield. Real easy pickup. Just pulled up, they were ready to go, thrown in the back, and I was out of there. It took me 10 minutes, if that. So that's good. Um, and I'm under no pressure to get there this morning. Sometimes you've got to get up early, you've got to get going, but I can be there any time today. The pressure is being put on by myself because the earlier I get there, the better chance I'll get more work, the better chance I'll get making more money. But the earliest I can get there is nine o'clock. So at this rate, I'll probably be getting there about half nine. Because um, it's about three hours, 15 minute drive. And it's what, 10 past six now, so. So that's the plan, just get myself to Sheffield and then let's see what we can get from there. All right, so it is, uh, well, it's half 10 now, it's half 10. Um, and I am here at, I don't know if you can see behind me, Sheffield's Meadow Hall. Um, I've just dropped off around the corner. I'm, <laughs> and it's happened again. Happened yesterday, or the day, was it yesterday or the day before? Tuesday. Got um, loads of jobs pinging and then I get to the area, nothing pings for 10 minutes. Which is really annoying because there should be plenty of ping in here. So what I'm going to do is I need the toilet and I need a drink. Uh, so I'm going to pop in here, have a little walk around whilst I'm bidding on work because obviously I'm right next to the van. I park here for as much as long as I want, I think. I think it's uh, no limit to my parking. And then when I get a job, run out, jump in the van and go and do the bloody job. Nice and simple, but nothing yet. I just want to get home now today. I just want to get home, to be honest, um, because I want to chill out tomorrow get everything sorted for the for the run on Saturday and then Saturday just kill myself on a run <laughs> but um, yeah that's the plan this is what I do usually I do this at supermarkets I'll park up a supermarket after I've done a job especially if it's midday I just go inside get a drink some water sandwich but and then go for a walk but I always stay near the van so this time I'm just gonna do it around here and see what there is because I've never been here before so I thought I'd have a little look around might as well enjoy yourself while you're on the road so that's the plan right oh it's Friday and I cocked up a little bit. <laughs> so, job popped up yesterday. Um, it was a, it was a few drops, small van job. I think it's five drops, six drops, six drops. Cambridgeshire, couple near Ipswich and Southwall. And I thought, fantastic, I'm in Sheffield. I'll grab them and I'll drop them off. So I set off, went, picked them up, started going, and I was checking the paperwork afterwards. Big mistake. And I missed the bit that said they needed dropping off before five o'clock. And if they weren't dropped off before five o'clock, they needed to be dropped off between nine and five on Friday, today. And as I was planning my route and everything, I realized I was only gonna to get to the first two drops yesterday, and then I would have to drive home and then go back out. And I thought, what's the point? So I went home, went back to Norwich, um, where I live, near Norwich, and I set off this morning, and it's uh, midday now, and I've had a nightmare of a day, uh, because I, I, I went to Southwell first, I did it the reverse way, because I thought, that would be best, that's a mistake. Couldn't leave the house until nine, because I had to drop the kids off at school, because the wife was working. So I had to leave late anyway, and now I'm halfway through, the furthest point away from my house, and I've noticed I've got a nail in my tyre. I've got a screw. I'm not, the, the tyre's holding up, but it needs sorting. So the plan is get finished, get home. I've got to go to Acle on the way back to register for my run tomorrow. So do that, get home. Um, I'm, keep, I'm going to keep a close eye on my tyre, because if that starts hissing or something, then I'm, 
I'm going to have to get it all changed. But I'm going to try and get it all sorted. It's in there, but it's one of those where it's like I can't hear any noise. The pressure doesn't seem to be going down, so I'm just going to keep it in there for now. But it's a fucking nightmare. Um, so and then next week get that sorted. So that's the plan. Uh, but yeah, this is just bad planning by my part. I should have looked. I'm, mean, you know, I'm getting paid good money for the job. Don't get me wrong. I'm getting paid way over the odds for a small van job. But if I'd known it was going to turn into the, what's turned into, I would have charged a lot more money. Um, it's just one that sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you have days that just don't go right. You learn from them. Even I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. So the plan is get these last few finished, get to Acle, register for my run tomorrow, get home, try and. I was hoping to have the day off and chill out and get everything sorted, but I'm going to have to want to go home now. Oh. Typical. Typical. But let's crack on. Right, guys. Um, so I'm in at Acle. I've just gone and registered for the Broadwalk Challenge. Got everything I need. Got to be here for half seven in the morning. Don't have to be here to. Uh, well, I'm going to get here about half an hour early. Get sorted. Get ready to rock. Um, and now I'm going to go home and eat a fuckload of pasta because I'm going to need the energy and chill out for the rest of the night. Watch Turkey v Italy. I might even have a little rum just to make myself feel better. Who knows? But um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Keep an eye out for my walk video, which will be coming out in the next few days. Um, and as always, be safe out there. Have a great day.